Welcome back to another episode of When Your Foundation's Too Dark, Blend It Down Your Neck. Also, uh, another good thing to know about today's makeup is I was trying to go for a spring look, but I whitened my teeth, so ultimately I wanted to wear a really dark color to really set off how much whiter my teeth are, so this happened. Oh well. Hi guys, Mrs. Shinyside here. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to hop on here and do a little uh, Walmart haul and show you what I picked up recently. All right. So the first thing that I grabbed was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Porcelain. Looks like that. I realized after using it yesterday uh, that the shade that I had that was the lightest in Walgreens when it first came out was Nude Ivory and this is like three shades lighter than that and the Nude Ivory one oxidizes to be a little bit too dark so I figured this might be a little bit of a better fit and since I was at Walmart they do have the exclusivity of having the cushions in stock not just like the bronzer or the highlighter they actually have like the uh, correcting cushions so I did pick up the Mega Cushion Color Corrector for Dark Circles in 766B Peach show you what it looks like. So I have this on today under my concealer. I'm not really sure how I feel about it just yet. I feel like it, it is a good shade for color correcting, but I don't know that it did a ton, but I mean, it was pretty affordable. I feel like recently with using the Tarte Shape Tape, that's such a heavy coverage concealer that when I try to use other things, I kind of have to do a little bit of correcting to make sure that everything gets covered up uh, under my eyes. So I want to give this a shot. It feels like a really thin consistency that would be good for the warmer weather that's coming up. So got that. Also picked up the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Liquid Highlighter with Vitamin E in the Illuminating Shade. Now this does say it's an oil-based liquid highlighter, which I feel like with any liquid highlighters you should shake them up, so definitely do that. But I have seen quite a few people, um, quite a few YouTubers, kind of put this side by side with the new Marc Jacobs uh, coconut illuminator or highlighter. So I'm excited to try this. I just hope it's not too gold. I guess most people would think that the, since the tube is white, the product inside is white, which is kind of what I was I was thinking when I first saw it. That's why I didn't pick it up because I don't wear my Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in, in pearl super often, especially going into the summer months where I do get a little bit darker. Um, but apparently this is more of like a gold color, so I'm really excited to try that out. I also picked up a Wet n Wild Single Shadow in the color Sugar, so just a matte white. Kind of looked through my collection and realized I didn't really have a matte white, besides the one in the Kat Von D palette. So I also picked up a really hilarious blush. Um, it's very Barbie pink, it's very sparkly. I just really wanted it. Um, it's called Fantastic Plastic Pink. That's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see the shimmers in there a little bit, but it just cracked me up. I've never seen this shade in person. I know that uh, somebody was recommending it or somebody was saying it was one of their favorites back in the day. I don't remember who it was. I feel like it was Beauty with Emily Fox maybe. So when I saw it, I was like, I'm doing this. Now this next part is definitely gonna be a the Taylor made me buy it uh, kind of a situation because after she did her the last 15 days of foundation, which ended last night, unfortunately. Um, she, a few nights ago, did the Flower Beauty BB Cream. And it's a full coverage BB Cream, and she used the lightest shade BB1. And that actually was fair enough for her. So I did go ahead and pick that up. Um, if you're interested in Flower Beauty, I would highly suggest looking and seeing which stores carry it. Because it's, I feel like, as far as I know, it's getting phased out with something called Koki Cosmetics. Not really sure why. I do feel like Flower Beauty is not a super affordable brand maybe to be at Walmart. Like when I picked out the, up that foundation, I think it was like, yeah, it was $12.98, which I guess is good for like drugstore prices. But when you were in a drugstore that everything is supposed to be pretty affordable, like they have a lot of e.l.f., they have a lot of Wet n Wild, they still have like L'Oreal and stuff like that. But I don't know. I just felt like that was kind of high end price for that product. I don't know. What do you think? And then I did wander through the uh, 
sale section and I saw this nail polish. This is by Salon Perfect. It's a neon pop in the shade Yowza Yellow. And I just, I don't know. It spoke to me. I don't have a nail polish this color. I got one of these neon pops last summer, like a really hot pink and I wore it on my toes and I felt like it made me feel tan even though it wasn't tan at all. So I feel like, I, I don't know, maybe I wanna be, maybe I wanna be a construction worker with this color, I don't really know. I know they were orange, but like they also have like the neon stripes of like the reflection, I don't know. But I got, I got that and then I also picked up the Catwalk Pink uh, Mega Glow Illuminating Palette by Wet n Wild. I've always wanted this. Um, it's huge, right? I've always wanted this, but the more things I see on Pinterest, if you're not following me, it's Mrs. Mrs. Shiny Side there as well. Um, people have been, instead of swirling everything together, they've been duping out some of the colors. Like I think this first color right here, right there, I think that's supposed to be a dupe for um, Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And I think that they said that the last strip on here, the gold one right there is like a, a dupe for Becca's Opal. So I thought that would be a good way to kind of try those products. I mean, I have a ton of highlighters on my list to do are a bunch of um, declutter slash collection videos so that I can go through and show you my collection and then hopefully kind of pare some of it down. But I figured this would be a good way to try a few highlighters and then see if I want to actually invest and get the full size if I wear it enough. And then if I don't like you know them individually, I can just do the thing where I swirl all of them together. So. Excited for that. And then I have a couple other random bits I feel like I would throw in here. I actually purchased these on eBay. Um, I wore this in my last video. So this is actually the Garnier BB Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 15 in the shade Fair Light. Now I've never seen the shade Fair Light in any drugstores. Uh, I've only seen light medium and medium deep and I used to love light medium, but that was like three years ago when I was a little bit more of a sun worshiper. I wasn't ever tan. Obviously, if I'm using medium, light medium, or yeah, light medium. But it just was too dark now. This is definitely too dark, but I feel like this is going to be a good product to have coming into the summer because I'm going to want to slap a BB cream on. I'm going to take my dogs out multiple times in a day. They're building a pool at our apartment building. So once the, the weather warms up, hopefully I'll be like hanging out by the pool with sunscreen. But I feel like I'm going to get some color instead of just sitting inside all the time. And then I also picked up this because of the Tayla. Uh, this is the Stargazer Compact Pressed Powder in the shade White. So it's just a plain white powder. I feel like I have the same problem that she has where if I set my under eyes with certain powders, it kind of takes some of the coverage away. So hopefully those uh, recommendations that she had will kind of come in handy and help me up my, my Pale Princess game. So if you're not already Following the YouTubers that I mentioned, I will go ahead and I will link uh, some of their videos down below. I feel like more people on YouTube have made me want to embrace my pale skin more. Like it's, it's a struggle on both ends of the spectrum, whether you're very fair or you're very deep, um, to find your perfect match in anything, in concealer, in foundation. That middle, that medium skin tone range, I feel like is a little bit easier. So any, you know, alliances that you can build with other people in order to do that, I would say follow them. Follow them and try to learn the tools of the trade because that's what we're all here to do, right? We're all here to learn, be friends, buy makeup, talk about makeup. Tell your husband you need to buy more makeup even though you already have two Sephora orders on the way. Anyways. That's it for me guys. Once again, my name is Mrs. Shiny Side, AKA Stephanie. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and please ring that bell so you get a notification every time that I upload. Uh, you can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. Instagram, I just recently uploaded a uh, video and a bunch of pictures of my Wet n Wild collection. So now I have to add this to that. Uh, and yeah, so that's it for me, guys. I just wanted to, uh, I don't know what I'm, I'm... Bye, guys. Oh, man. Was that mascara there this whole time? How come nobody told me? I wear a liquid lipstick because I know it's less priority. You won't get it on your teeth. But I had mascara on my freaking lid this whole time. Really?
really.